Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're doing something a little bit unorthodox today. As you can tell, I'm set up to do a video, but I just got word the Tomai container has arrived for titanium single and dual exit exhaust for the VB chassis WRX. So as cool as, you know, carbon fiber emblems is, I think we're going to kind of bail on this video and, and show you some real life stuff where we just go over there, unbox it, throw it on the VB and see what it sounds like. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get to it. All right, gang, like I said, we're literally in the middle of filming another video. Krista! Yeah. Krista! Yeah. Hey, guess what? Well, from the shouting and the screaming <laughs> and the jumping around, it is here, so I guess we're gonna, you know, stop doing what we're doing. You wanna go unbox some Tomai titanium exhaust systems? Let's do it. This is actually the first time we've ever seen any of the Tomai 22 stuff in person. So I think we're gonna throw both the single and the dual Ooh. on. See what it sounds like, but first, we have to unbox. And here are the boxes. Nice, and it looks like Dane's kind of got a head start on us, man. Don't open it up yet. I just confirmed that we have both the Tomai Type R and the Tomai Type D. And so the Type R is going to be our single muffler, and then our Type D is going to be our dual muffler setup. Both are resonated, so it does have a little bit of a difference than like the Noble non-resonated titanium that we have on the VB right now. But hey. Let's open it up. Okay, we'll start with the single. The type R, baby. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay. Get our resonated mid pipe right here. Kind of the axle pipe right there. Looks like this is our muffler section. Ooh, nice, very well packed. Let's cut this bad boy open. I can already see that burnt titanium look in there. Ooh. Nice, look at that. That is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, got the Extreme TI right on the tip there. Tomai stamped into the titanium right on the end. This thing has definitely got like a higher polished look to the muffler, although the titanium look is the pipe that I'm kind of used to. Woo boy, there we go. Look at that resonator, nice. Yeah, with it being titanium and all, I definitely don't want to get my greasy hands all over it because once we go through a heat cycle, I don't want fingerprints on here. Um, but I feel like I'm having all the fun. Do you want to open the dual? Ooh. Here we go. There it is. Looks about the same. I would agree. But... I think we should just put them on because I know everyone's going to want to hear it. I want to hear it. You sure people just don't want to watch unboxing videos of titanium parts? Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> well, it looks like we got the car on the lift already. The Noble Dual Titanium is on our VB chassis. And uh, hey, you know what? Why don't you let me know if you guys want to see another video where we compare the Noble Titanium to, you know, the Tomai stuff, the single, the dual. What do you guys want to see? I think that'd be pretty cool, but for now, we're not worried about the Noble, we're worried about the Tomai. Let's get this thing on the car. Now we're making some progress. We got the Noble exhaust off the car, and here we go. We are going to start with the Tomai single exit titanium for the VB. Uh, let's take a look at what you get. You know, not only do you get your cool three pieces here, but you get all your hardware, your springs. This one's kind of held together with, with like a spring assembly type of thing with these hoops here instead of like two bolt flanges. On top of that, you get all of your mounting hardware. You get these cool spring noise things that you get to cut the length and put over the spring so it doesn't like rattle around when the car is kind of running and driving. Got our clamps with our rubber do havies in there, you know, all the kind of good stuff. Also, man, this is probably why you really bought the Tomai, right? You get all them stickers, you get the badge, you get the flex on all your JDM friends. So that's why you wanted it. It comes with it. That is awesome. Silencer, you know, whatever. Nobody likes that kind of stuff. But let's get to putting the Tomai titanium single exit exhaust on the VB. Let's 
Let's talk about Fitman, man. <laughs> Nothing short of a great fit. I mean, Tomai just knows what they're doing. They've been doing this a long time. Fitment is, I mean, almost nothing to talk about. There's no, there's no weird angles. It wasn't really hard to put up there. Uh, I would tell you, if anything, the hardest part I had, since I had never done one of these particular, because, you know, you literally just saw me open them up and put it on, is which way our hanger was oriented. But once you figure that out, man, everything fits good, fits nice, plenty of clearance. Good quality stuff, man. I mean, this is just fantastic. I, I opted not to use the springs just because I know for a fact that we're not going to be keeping this exhaust on the car because, hey, we're doing a video about popping it off for another set. So I didn't want to get all that stuff out of the box and kind of get my hands all over it and, and work it all up. But everything is tight. We've got the clamps on here. Let's see what it sounds like. I can definitely tell you there is an audible sound difference between the Noble Titanium and the Tomai Titanium. That resonator is making a pretty good difference as far as the audio quality. Now, whether you think that's good or bad, that's totally personal preference and up to you. If you like the resonated sound or if you don't like the resonated sound, I'm just here to give you the facts. So let's take this thing outside, give it a couple of good rips and see what you think. Nice. That was fun and it sounded great. Fitment is great. Sound is great. What did you expect? It's Tomai. It's full titanium. There's nothing to go wrong. It's just a super great exhaust except for one small problem. This empty space right here, which we are going to fix right now by putting the Tomai Type D exhaust, which is the dual exit exhaust over the single exit exhaust. Is there going to be a sound difference? Probably. But my bet is it's going to be just a little bit quieter than what we just heard. But hey, you're here. I'm here. Let's throw the D on it. Now we're talking, we got both mufflers in there. Now that looks a little bit more, right? Correct? We filling up both ends. That's cool. Anyway, we expected, once again, a great fit. It's Tomai. It looks good. It fits good. Plenty of clearance everywhere. All of the right parts. All of the right fit. I'm certainly happy with the quality and fitment of this exhaust, as well as the Type R single exit. But what are we here for? We're here to hear it, man. That's what you guys want. So we're going to fire it up. See if there's any real difference from the uh, Type R to the Type D. And we're going to take it for a spin. Let's do it.
taking a walk around, the dual exhaust is a little quieter, you know, to be expected. Since we got two mufflers instead of one, a little bit quieter. I will tell you the sound is practically identical. So I think it really comes down, at least from an idle standpoint, if you want that JDM style single, or if you like the dual because you want to fill both of those exhaust cutouts out. driving the car for about 15 or 20 minutes, I'm having a hard time distinguishing, is this the single or is this the double? I will tell you there's a slight, and I mean slight, audible difference as far as the DB level uh, between the single and the dual. If this was a blind test, I don't think I'd be able to tell you which one is on the back of this thing. Do you prefer the single? Do you prefer the double? Who knows? The choice is always up to you. But as far as an audible difference, I think you're going to be hard pressed to tell the difference. There we go. What a successful day. We started out doing some badging for the VB and it turned into like a whole thing with the Type R and the Type D from Tomai. I mean, doesn't get much better than that. So here are my final thoughts between the two. If you're looking for a very high quality, very good looking, well fitting titanium exhaust, the Tomai Type R and Type D are both a good option. As far as sound quality or audible differences between the Tomai and the Noble, there is a difference. The resonator adds a lot deeper rumble compared to the non-resonated Noble that we're kind of used to hearing around the shop. So if that's something you want to take into consideration, the Tomai Titanium might also be a choice for you. Finally, our decibel level between the single exit and the dual exit, there is a difference, but it is not substantial. So if you think you're going to not wake the neighbors by choosing the dual over the single, I think you're going to be disappointed there because it's going to be relatively the same no matter which one you pick. I honestly think it's going to come down mostly to which one of the looks you like the best. Once again, the choice is up to you. Which one did you guys prefer? Do you like the more JDM single exit or do you prefer filling out both of those exhaust cutouts? Let me know in the comments below. But no matter which exhaust you choose, know you're going to find it at the best price in the universe, in stock, ready to go at importimageracing.com. So for all of the best deals on the web and in the world, import image, baby. You know what to do. See you guys on the next one. really think it comes down to the fact that do you want the single or do you want the double? Which one of the likes do you look? <laughs> Which one of the likes do you look? I not talk very good.